Hey there everyone, Steve the Amateur Historian, how you doing? I, to kind of date the video, I, just, I went crazy around the room stringing up Christmas lights. My girlfriend asked me to put them up, so I went crazy. So anyway, that's going on behind me. Uh, something I want to do a little bit more, uh, at least periodically on my channel, is kind of use personal experience, but also delve into uh, kind of various forms of media. I've been watching a lot of videos recently on YouTube and whatnot about uh, just various different, you know, um, you know, television history, film history, uh, paid programming type things, different formats, public domain stuff, just all these little interesting uh, things in relation to, you know, like movie history, television history, uh, DVDs, VHSs, record albums, A tracks, audio, did they say audio cassettes already? All that stuff. Um, and just kind of discussing my personal experience with some things like that. I have some general ideas. Um, but for this video in particular, I, I totally forgot I had this. Um, but uh, working in uh, movie theater uh, in that environment for a very long time, uh, you know, everything, you know, with the exception of certain specialty theaters, everything's digital now. And, you know, we've had these digital projectors for about eight and a half years at the particular place I work at. And I've noticed in the last, like, year or so, we're starting to have more issues than usual. And like, part of it could just be that, you know, we've had this, you know, same system for so long. I, I think all the, you know, digital projectors we have, um, none of them have been replaced. They're all, you know, the original ones we that the place got back in, like, mid-2011, I think. Um, and before that... Before we all went digital, for a brief time, I actually was a projectionist. Everybody who worked projection, they all had to go to school during these certain blocks, and they needed someone to work those shifts. And so I actually worked projection for a couple of, it was about two months, and it was leading up to us going full digital. We had 16 uh, auditoriums, 16 projectors. Two of them were um, already digital and could play 3D movies, but the other 14 were still film projectors. And I totally forgot that, you know, while I was up there doing that, you know, I was kind of by myself, which was, it was awesome. I just conducted myself entirely. And I had to learn over the course of a weekend how to run these reel-to-reel -reel projectors. Uh, with these big, massive, you know, pallets that were like this big, film reels that were this big around. Like, literally, we'd have to strap something around them in the, in the kind of the middle of it and then lug them down the hallway, these film strips that weighed like 50 pounds or something. I fortunately never really had to deal with that part, but I was a projectionist for a while, and I forgot that I had this little digital camera, um, and I actually brought it in and took some pictures and some video of my experience, knowing that I was only briefly going to be working in projection. Because, um, you know, we think about, you know, projectors now, and they're all digital. You go up and you hit buttons on a thing, and, it, you know, it's just like watching something on a DVD player, watching something on your computer. You just click, poke a few things, and there the video goes. But... Um, I wanted to show this video I took, you know, a lot of it trying to show off, look at me, I know how to run a projector, you know, even though I know in the video, me loading it, I actually screw up a few times. Um, but because it's becoming more and more and more of a almost primitive thing to actually have real film projectors and have them actually being used in cinemas and things like that, I thought this would be a really interesting throwback, and it's it's from 2011, so it's, it's a way back, and I just thought it would be really cool to show this video that I took of my experiences doing this um, back in the day, a, a type of job that not a lot of people do uh, anymore. So anyway, that's that's what this video is focused on, is you know showing you my experience. So it's something you know directly related to me, but it's also the, again this kind of primitive style of showing film that doesn't really exist anymore. I just thought I'd show it to you guys. So anyway, that said, let's go into it. Why are you doing this to me right now? What in the fuck? This damn thing is a motor drive. There. 
mean, stay that way. Stop the corn on. Why am I having such a hard time with this right now? The on the other side of the oh my god, I'm starting to rotate. Mm -hmm. Here's my my sheet. A little bit start. Rotating, which is fuckers on the focus. I'm gonna start a movie. This is part of the theater that's still in part of the theater is still in good working order, and I'm about to start this one right here. Are we Alright. 